So, I'm sorry if the quality is shitty. I'm trying to make it better. <clears throat> okay, so y'all, this channel message is basically about that, um, the dream that I was telling you guys about the other day. I'm I guess I'm going to tell it today, okay? So, this dream is very symbolic because, um, it's just really symbolic this dream is all right so we're just gonna go ahead and get into it now every time i do these type of videos i'll be trying to like mm. okay so the dream basically i guess i was like a spirit guide or i was a spirit or i was deceased i would want to say um, the way that I was analyzing the dream was very weird. This was the first time that I've actually like understood what was going on. All right, so I guess we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. So throughout the dream, there's this, funny enough, it's a couple, right? And the couple isn't black, the couple's white. Like, I would say they're like Italian, I don't know, okay? Um, just a little background knowledge. I really believe that this couple could have been in a way connected to me um my government name i was named after a deceased person all right um it was this girl she had died she was white okay so that's just a little background knowledge um i never really knew any information about her okay so um i also told you guys that i did not receive my government name has always been my name but it hasn't like officially it been stamped my name until like I was 18 because I had to get a license to go to school okay so in this dream it was like I kind of knew who she was but I was like okay whatever so everywhere that she would go I would go with her and usually when I have like prophetic dreams for some reason my car my vehicle the white one is always in the car well it's always in it right and this is the vehicle that I had well, that I was, I got, um, my senior year in high school. Um, I don't know what's so synchronistic about this car. I'm recording in this car right now too, but whatever. So basically I'm following her around, but it's not my physical body. I can tell that like, I'm just a spirit because the only thing that I'm seeing is them. Like I'm not seeing myself. I'm only seeing them, what they're doing what they're talking about everything like that and it's almost as it's really weird like her and her boyfriend i don't want to say their husband and wife because i don't think they're married just because of the way that um okay i'm just gonna try to explain it i'm sorry i'm going like around I'm like, Sack. so um basically i'm following this girl around and like they're like it's like different scenes where like one time they're they're always in water one time they're like on this boat and then the other time we're just like driving on the freeway now you guys know in dreams you can only remember select things but within this dream i remember this select part okay so i'm driving or we're driving I, i'm like in the back seat like i don't know it's weird like they're driving or whatever right my car it's like weird because it's like she's me i'm her but i'm a i'm dead and she's alive but of course it's a dream so it's reversed right so um they're driving she's they're driving in the little car or whatever and i don't even know how this happened basically like we're on and this is actually like the second dream i've had like this now that i'm like remembering i knew this shit was gonna happen when i started doing this channel message because i started channeling I've had multiple dreams like this where I'm like driving on the highway and or I'm driving and like either my car flips off of a bridge or it's like always very traumatic, like traumatic ass car crashes. However, so it's them, right? And they're driving the car or whatever. And so the car is like it goes into this roller coaster effect, right? And there's this huge ass lake. So the the car, you just see the car in the lake, right? And so, of course, you would assume that they're dead because the car just crashed into the lake. Like, it was really weird. It was like the car turned into like a roller coaster and like it like kind of like crashed into the lake. Like, I guess that would be synchronistic of like something like the car kind of had a mind of its own. I guess. I don't know what the fuck that's synchronistic of. However, once 
the car went into the lake it was like that's when i realized that i wasn't alive i was dead or some shit it was weird so um at first i just thought they were like coming along with me but then i started like i was like why am i only seeing what they're doing so it was weird all right so um the car goes into the lake right and i tell you guys all the time my dreams are very weird so it'll switch to like different visions so they didn't die right um the car goes into the lake and it's like a fucking joke or some shit and mind you the whole dream like it was basically like they were doing things i guess i could see in a spiritual sense but they were doing things that would like hurt the girl but the guy he was like always saved so her boyfriend her husband whatever you want to call this man he was always saved okay and she was always in danger okay and i guess i was her spirit guide in some way so i'm looking at them and i'm expecting them to be dead of course so i'm like looking in the water and it's really weird like it's like on like a cartoon or like a comedy skit and they're like sitting in the boat and the boat's like hanging hanging off the tree mind you i told you guys like literally like the car was like it turned to a roller coaster it was in the sky and it like just hit the the water so i just thought they were they died <laughs> so the, the the boat was like caught on this tree now they're in a boat so at first they're in a car and they, they were saved by the boat so i know that this dream is synchronistic because um i feel like i'm tapping in and out of conscious sorry <laughs> because um i wrote down the six of swords which, which is divine intervention okay so some type of savior or spirit guide is going to save your life or has saved your life here all right or you're being preserved to do something however um so they're on the boat right and this dream is synchronistic because the other day you guys know i'm getting like prepared to go into my next phase in life and um i was at this car place and there was a boat <laughs> a big ass fucking boat right in front of me so i was like damn that's and it was like the same day that i had the dream like so anyways fast forward right so the kids are not there mind you i'm seeing in a different vision i guess so i'm seeing a different vision or whatever the kids aren't there so she has two kids i just assume that because the brother just looked i don't know so after the whole thing with the boat happened they go back home and mind you i can't really see the man like her husband he's always with her i just can't see him because i guess i'm not his spirit guide or i wasn't connected to him not attached to him my spirit isn't attached to him or whatever cursed spirit hex that me and this girl have attached that we're bound to in this dream it's not he doesn't have anything to do with him so i assume that he was not married all right so i assume they were not married so their children were out of wedlock i don't know how this is synchronistic but it's synchronistic okay so um that's that so they go they go home and you don't see the husband i think the only time i seen the husband is like after some tra every time something traumatic happened like she would tr she would like be doing something and she would almost die and like she would always have to get saved or shit like that but the crazy thing is she had spiritual guides the guy didn't it was almost as if they were using the guy just to like hurt her like just to literally put her in danger because it was like he was telling her like oh let's go to this place let's go to that place and then when they go to these places like she's in danger right so something about her kids are very synchronistic so uh, whatever so we get back to the house and it's very weird in the house like it's a very you can tell that they're like really rich because it's like the house is like see-through and shit y'all ever seen that house that movie it's called like glass house or some shit um it's like where the, all the the windows are like they're just glass it's like a very i don't even know i feel like we're in like san francisco or some shit but um yeah i go back to the house or whatever and um i remember there was a detective there right and i know y'all probably like damn girl this is the this is the fucking dream yeah for a dick series so it was a detective there and what's crazy is my dreams are so weird because like i can be like in a whole different room atmosphere and still know what they're doing in there i don't really even know what that is so i was in the um the brother's room and i was like going through his pictures and he was he had drew um it was basically like red crayon <laughs> and it was just like blood splatter right so he had drew like 
basically like blood splatter and it's so crazy my cards you have the four swords here yeah like a resting state so he had drew like blood splatter i keep saying that right <laughs> this is like a key part okay so um you guys know i don't know why the little boy looks like the boy from insidious like her kids look like the kids from insidious literally like they have like the exact same this is the face that i seen like the black hair shit like that i'm also getting um what is those people called they're not white they're um they're mob bosses i don't they're not jersey when it comes to me i'll tell you they're that they have like really they have like really dark black hair i mean really dark thick hair okay now the brother the little brother i guess he predicted whatever this was so i don't know if what happened to him but he's missing okay the little brother's missing and it's like i can read the other brother's mind and he's like freaking out because i think what happened was the parents went on some type of vacation trip or whatever and i feel like the mom she does something whereas it's like um her job is very dangerous i don't know what she does but her job is very dangerous or her life whatever she her life path is dangerous as shit so she has a lot of guidance around her okay and the father he's just like i don't know I, he's just there to breed like literally like he literally he does nothing and then even when like they're looking for um even when they're looking for the son or then the investigator comes like he didn't the investigator the detective didn't even say anything it's like we all knew what he was like he was looking for the son right so i woke up after that because i was like like what the fuck because it kind of took like a drastic turn it went from them to like the kids so this could actually be like a generational curse being carried on but i have some notes that i writ wrote on this card this could also be synchronistic and it's so interesting that this is an insurance card but um yeah i'm also hearing like insurance insurance fraud or identity theft all right but um we have cps okay so what i was kind of getting is because like the kids weren't with them i thought like they had been taken away the kids had been taken away or something or they just didn't live with them like the parents rather have like a very fun outgoing life all right um I'm, i was also getting another scenario where the kid the little brother the bigger brother he had stayed home or whatever okay or he just didn't go and it was like they told him that they were taking the little brother like to the dentist or some shit and by the time he was actually in the car with them because i didn't appear into i didn't appear in the car until they were about to crash the car so he was actually in the car with them but when the vision switched or the dream switched he was already dead okay so he died in the water or he died and they survived okay but whatever then we have a sick joke so that's what i'm saying like the whole thing was orchestrated for this one thing i don't know what it was okay and then um car crash into lake the ship is symbolic i'm also getting like yeah it's something whereas like the parents or someone was saying like yeah we're going here for this or i need this and it was actually the kid that needed it so i'm also getting a situation where like someone was living someone else's destiny like the woman was living like the child's the mom was living and mind you guys the girl that i was named after she died when she was a kid so i don't know if this is her future or what so the mom was actually living sorry guys it's confusing the mom was actually living the son's destiny y'all and so what really had happened is once they had killed him for that life insurance or for to steal his identity it was instant karma because as soon as we got back to the house girl the cops was there the cops was there they didn't even know what happened they didn't even know what happened we don't even know who called him all right um and then we have yeah i wrote instant karma we have numb with fear because i mean the dad wasn't there the dad just said deuce deuce girl the, the dad the dad's not even there like the dad's working in collaboration against 
the other person's destiny right then i also got something where it's like a, something about switching genders because it's like the boys are girls and the girls are boys or some shit like it's weird okay keep going and then yeah the ship is very symbolic or traveling is very symbolic okay and then yeah so like i was saying the brother by the time we got to the house the brother was like panicking so i'm looking through the thing i guess i was doing a spiritual investigation before they even came so i'm looking at the pictures and i'm like damn like the the, the little boy was seem very traumatized or he was like infatuated with like blood and shit so um the brother was very very i don't know if the brother did it i don't know i don't know if the brother and the mama did it together i don't know if the whole family did it but i feel like in a way the brother he really didn't know what was going on but he just knew that something was wrong because he was hearing his brother's voice like he was hearing like i'm, I'm scared like where am i help me when are you coming back for me where am i shit like that so it's like the brother knew that something was wrong and then his parents they was always just really i don't know how the fuck i'm getting all of this for the world this one dream guy the parents they was real motherfucking in and out of their lives so no stability right so i also believe that the drowning thing you guys um correlates with like feelings the drowning like someone is drowning in their feelings because what i'm getting is someone's doing something someone did something okay and you're gonna see someone be like extremely mellow i'm not getting sad i'm getting excuse me you guys i'm getting remorse actually i'm also getting sick to my stomach like someone is like sick like in the head in the mind or like what someone did or what someone like was planning to do to get something is sick because i'm kind of getting like even in the dream it was like even the fact that like she was going through all that shit and it was just like it was a joke or like she was going to be saved anyways i don't know like the whole thing was pretty sick and it was really weird um so yeah i guess i'm gonna leave the comments open because i just learned something new about youtube algorithm in the comments i'm not gonna say it but um tell me what you guys think about this